I pierce through my atrium. My scribes follow and ask me questions relating to the paperwork, dealing with the aftermath of the party. Razitz offered to do some of the workload, and then walked off with a bottle of some ale I got as a gift somewhere. One of my butlers waves me down after a while. My lord, you have a meeting with Lord Abaddon in 30 minutes. I nod and go get ready. We should reach Caliban any day now. Emps had set a plan and provided me with some interesting cargo to see it through. Abby will want to know what's going on. I wash my face a bit to wake myself up. Paperwork is soul draining. I've not eaten in a while so I eat the ration bar as I make my way to the meeting hall. The first legion is massing in system. Once they have we will jump as one directly to Caliban. I bob my head in response. Have you been informed as to what the Emperor entrusted us with? I don't actually know if Abby has been informed about our special cargo. Cargo? That answers that. <laughs> we have another mission, but we're not just getting the lion. Our cargo will be useful. What has Horus told you of the great enemy? Only that they're beings in the warp, and that they are hostile, and that you're a specialist in dealing with him. I sigh. That's an understatement. I sent for one of the custodies to bring the Emperor's care package. As we wait, I tell Abby more. There are indeed things in the warp. Every emotion of every soul bearing species feeds them. They seek to increase their food source and increase in power. I can tell you more later, but for now let's narrow our focus to just what's under Caliban. Abby gestures for me to continue. I explain that I'm not fully aware of the true scope of the entity, just that the Watchers have contained it, that our cargo should assist in dealing with, or at least weaken, the threat. Have you ever heard of the Spear of Destiny? The custodies hand me the case. I open it to reveal a rather plain-looking spearhead. I push it across the table to Abby. Is this a joke? No. Belief has power. Thousands of years worth of belief has empowered the spear. It should be able to harm the entity. And you plan to lead a team to its anchor? To this material realm yourself? That's quite the task. What? No. I plan to attach the spearhead to your very long stick and make the lion do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight the thing. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight the thing. Are you crazy? He gives me a confused look. Then why send you here? Because the Emperor is busy dealing with STC archives. I know the threat and could be trusted to oversee it handled. I wouldn't stand a chance against the damn thing in combat, but the lion will. Why entrust someone you've just met to this task? Because he's a Primarch. Trust me. He will approve of being trusted to deal with this. Abby's mind is clearly running on overdrive right now. I offer to answer some of his questions and spend a good hour talking about galactic history in the warp. I eventually tell him to ask his gene father for more later. Afterward, I sent word to the First Legion to decide on 100 Marines to be the ones to welcome their Primarch. That was a mistake. The First Legion are now holding a long series of duels to decide who gets the honour of being chosen. Tournament arc. Sorry, <laughs> couldn't help myself. <laughs> but really, I did add another week to your wait. Another Watcher spooked the shit out of me. Asked us to wait two days extra to jump. No problem, man. Just don't appear at the edge of my sight when I'm on, ca <laughs> when I'm on the cam. Rude. <laughs> I nearly had a heart attack. I had to come up with a bullshit reason for the hold. I just told everyone that I wanted to make sure we were all ready to jump. I handled the spear to Amagos to ready for the lion. While I was wandering the ship, I ran into some trippers playing mine and Angron's war game. I asked for their thoughts and took notes on some of the different house rules they used for different types of rounds. I think I startled them at first. I felt the ship leave the warp. It was always weird going in and out of the warp. I never got used to it. The fleet took time to gather. Some ships had Geller fields issues. The crews are checking everything. Afterward, we make burn towards Caliban. Soon we had our massive fleet orbiting above Caliban. I didn't actually know where their capital was, so I sent a dropship to every major city we could see. Messengers were sent back and forth. I offered to meet the lion at a place of his choosing. I went down with my sunny dogs, the two custodies, and a squad of lunar wolves. The first legion honor guard came too. We brought some staff as well. I could see a walled city from the camp we set up. I had set up a canopy with chairs for Luther and I, and a Primarch sized one for the lion. We just had to wait for them now. I met with Luther first, gave him my best greeting and offered refreshments. I answered some of his questions about the Imperium. He told me a bit about the Caliban, that the lion would join us soon. The Primarch was still in his way, and should be here before nightfall. 
Lither asked to see some of the Astartes, wanting to get a measure of them. The First Legion offered to run a series of spars for him, a single 1v1 and a 3v3 to showcase their melee abilities. Then a weapon show. We made sure to send runners to the city to inform the locals ahead of time. I was showing Luther the Force Sword when we got word of the Lion's arrival. We greeted each other. I introduced the Primarch to his sons. I was asked many questions. How the Imperium function? How do we travel the stars? Questions about his space daddy. I explained just what he was, what the Astartes are, and what would be expected of him. He was quiet for a bit. I let him mull over what he had learned, while I greeted more of his retinue. A feast was held, of course. It was a merry and glad affair. The tech boys brought fireworks. A joust would be held in the morning, to the cheer of many. I didn't get to approach the other reason why I was here yet, but that could wait. A local teen asked to speak with me. A third-born son of some local noble house. Poor sap got on his hands and knees and begged me to take him with him when we left. I had several questions. Told me a tale of woe. Daddy wanted him to marry an old crone so he could be kept quiet. The boy was gay. He had been caught by his father with his lover. He was then crucified. Damn. I would ask the lion if I could take the boy on. I didn't want to risk a huge scandal if I thought it would cause a rift between me and the lion. The lion didn't care about me having the boy sent to the ship. I would have him tested and assigned a job. The boy was in great shape, and Razitz mentioned training him if he could pass standards. I was eating some local bird roast when Luther asked me to show my skills with my sword. He didn't take my refusal well, so I explained I wasn't very good at the blade. This was a mistake, because he insisted to help me train. This led to the lion being disgusted with my sword skills. Both made it their mission to teach me how to properly sword fight. Both our retinues basically dragged us back to the feast. I met with some more locals and told them off some of my travels. Soon I grew tired though, so I settled in my tent. In the morning I eat a quick meal with Luther. The lion didn't wish to eat. He and his sons had started sparring last night, and they were still at it. The nobles' house staff were setting up the joust. Luther asked me about the planned uplift, such as when it would start and whatnot. I told him we could start as soon as we got their go-ahead. After the lion's bonding time with his sons, I asked to speak with him. I told him of my other task here, and the threat to this world. The Spear of Destiny would be delivered to him when the time came. Until then, we focused on the uplift, and plans for Caliban. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Cause we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Cause we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties, we got lizard bitties, we got orc bitties, oni bitties, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below, it helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video, let's get on the story. We spent months planning. Tanks were outfitted for tractor duty until the tech boys could get local manufacturing up. The locals had some tech, but it was mostly artifacts and jury-rigged copies that didn't actually know how they worked. They were, however, eager to learn and were drinking in the tech boys' knowledge. The plan is to get the First Legion set up and send the Primarch and an escort to meet the Emperor while the Caliban is converted to a recruitment world. The Watchers have approached me twice. They are preparing for Lion to gank a bitch with his spear of plus one damage. When I'm not working on the uplift, the Lion or Lither are running me into the ground in the yard. My arms might be sore as hell, but I'm getting better. I couldn't ask for better teachers, honestly. Most of the work on my end is lessened, so I can focus more on actually learning to use Ferris's gift. I offered to show the Lion and his foster dad aboard the Ally of Justice. Their reaction to seeing a local gas giant was great. While we were off-world, we were called back early. Two of the Lion's higher-ranking vassals were fighting over land rights, some long-standing issue that never actually got discussed due to the world dealing with monsters at the time. Now, however, the force both claimed was cleared for a factorum, with both wanting control. Both were threatening to raise levies. The Primarch threw them into the yard to settle there. One got knocked the fuck out, and that was that. Much better than a court case or civil war. One of the lords asked to take me hunting. We killed some six-legged boar thing. It put up a good fight, though we were only using spears and bows. We dragged it back to the village to share it with the common folk. We caught some deer-looking things as well, so there was plenty of meat to go around. I was chatting with the village elder when I saw it. It was right at the door. A chicken. 
an honest-to-God chicken. I dropped my glass in shock. Caliban had chickens? I had not eaten chicken since Earth in my first life. Mate, that sounds well grim. I know. I bought a few dozen of them. I was going to ask the tech boys to test them. The villagers were confused at first when I asked about the birds, but were happy to sell me some. The Lord asked me why I was so interested, and I told him I thought this type of bird might have been from Old Earth. He asked me to keep him posted on the results. I had the fattest chicken set aside to be cooked later. Get the nugs in. (laughs) The tech boys took the chickens with gusto after I explained my thoughts. I was offered to be compensated for the funds I used to buy the chickens. I declined. I was doing this for mankind, (laughs) not reward. (laughs) If only I had the secret herbs and spices. Oh Oh. oh my god. See, that's that's the most grim dark thing about 40k No, I want KFC. The birds are confirmed chickens. Kinda. They are recreations. Made by exactly copying the DNA of Terran chickens. So as close as we can get. Efforts are being made to mass breed the birds and ship them far and wide. Emps and Mal have been sent an update. It's small, but a great find. Only the tech boys and I seem to care. <laughs> Whatever. We are approaching the point where the First Legion can fully run Caliban. I was expecting the Watchers to approach me again, to have the Lion deal with the Elder Horror under the surface. But I've not seen them since. After asking the locals, who seem stunned I have several encounters with the Watchers already, I've decided to be more proactive. Luther, the Lion, a Custodes and I would go into the woods alone. We found a spooky looking clearing about two and a half hours into the forest by foot and waited. Just at dusk, the drama majors came. I had expected this, so Luther and I slept until just an hour before dark. Got to know your tropes. There were around 20 of them in a circle around us. I did my best to welcome them into our really basic camp. I spoke with one, showed them the spear and explained my plan. The rep asked for time to discuss my offer. I had wanted to have the majority of the First Legion join their Primarch, as I didn't fully know what to expect. They shot that down. They wanted us to act tonight. Just us four. (laughs) Whoa, whoa, whoa. Luther and I are mortals. Well, kinda. We can't fight this thing. The Lion eventually talked me into his plan. Luther and I would guard the cave slash portal to the Abyss, as the Watchers called it. We tell them we are ready and they teleport us, I guess? Or something close enough. The Watchers led us to a normal looking cave. They led us down. Really glad I brought lanterns. We were led to a mural of an Ouroboros. Wait, what? We all check our gear, and then the lion nods to our Watcher rep. I hear a sound like a howling wind. The mural becomes a mirror. The Primarch and Custodes walk through. The Watchers vanished thereafter. Luther and I stood vigil. Several minutes later. Anon, is your reflection trying to speak with you? That was concerning. No, it's not. Is yours? It's begging me to strike you down. His voice is clear. More confused than worried. What does it refer to me as? My false self is calling you the Outsider and Fate Breaker. Interesting. Both are kind of true titles for me, but I would advise you to ignore the shade. Be ready for a fight. I have a really bad feeling. He just scoffs. I ready my LAS pistol, as using a bolter in a cave is a really bad idea. And my power sword. I feel something inside my mind telling me to speak to the mirror. I start chanting the Battle Hymn of the Republic in English. Luther seems to understand what I'm doing and starts singing some shanty I don't understand. I look at my false reflection and see it start twitching. Then it melts with a look of horror on its face. I'm pushed to the ground. Snap out of it! Fight! We're surrounded by nine horrors. A blend of eyes, claws and snakes in a humanoid form. One is turning to ash, clearly been killed by Luther's blade. I bathe two of the freaks with my flamer ring and start picking myself up while blasting with my las pistol. Things become a frenzy as Luther and I start fighting these horrors. More keep coming. My las pistol runs dry and I truly put my sword work to use. I still have my bolter, but I don't want to cave in. We keep pushing them back, but more keep coming. This doesn't make sense. How are they- wait- What happened to their ashes? Are they reforming? At least not that I can confirm. Something isn't right. I try and look around at the cave in between swings. That's when I see it. Or more like, don't see it. I know I missed a few shots. Why are the walls undamaged? This isn't real. I blink and I'm back to staring at the mirror like a portal. My reflection is gone. Luther is out of it. 
He's still standing, staring at the portal. I try and smack him out of it. He's lost to you, Anon. I look back at the mirror to see a giant eye instead. I steady my breathing, trying to calm myself. This is a trap. It wants me to speak to it. I bite back the urge to make a snide remark. The back of my mind screams to speak. I will not falter. Your resistance is meaningless. I see past your mind and soul. You're an open book. Blank. That was my name on earth. No, do not falter. Why do you fight for them? These people are not yours, but pages in a story. Surely you would prefer a kinder story. I have a duty to act. You are miserable. You will feel them anyway. Why not at least be happy? They are doomed anyway. I will not feel. If they aren't real, neither are you. The eye cracks. I feel a yell of rage. Luther collapses. The mural returns, but bleeding. There are several thuds behind me. I turn to see the lion kneeling with the custodies being carried on his back. There are several watchers laying in the ground. The custodies is missing a chunk of his arm and chest, but seems alive. The lion lost his left eye and is holding the spear of destiny in his teeth by the snap shaft. He just looks at me, nods and speaks. It's done. The lion and I drag the custodies and Luther out. More watchers arrive to take their own. We drag them through the woods for hours until we find a clearing. I guarded our comrades while the lion gathered wood for a signal fire. It had been well after noon when we exited, but that doesn't make sense. We went in right after dusk, and were only there for an hour, by our timepieces. We kept the fire burning through the night, and the landing craft came to pick us up in the morning. I was dead tired, but refused to sleep until Luther and my custodies were in a med bay. The crew that flew us back was stunned, and it was quite a ride back. I think I earned a day off. Well, guys, I think that turned out better than what could have happened. Yeah. You know, I really like that cave segment. It really gave me, like, you know, Dagobah vibes. Yeah, it did. You know? Um, I think it tur- worked out quite nicely. However, like, all I'm going to say is there is slightly more of Cop Bannon that's written. However, I kind of want to wait until there's more of it because it's kind of short. Like, yeah. The, the and this one. was a good part to end up yeah. for whatever he's writing next. So I kind of want to save that. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm sorry if there might be a bit more of a delay. There's also a bit of like a side story. So there is, there's like a dark elder one. I'm really interested in doing. So we might do that yeah. in the time in between. Yeah. But like, let us know what you think about this part because this part was actually very interesting, and I think we really got a lot more. What's the right word? Information. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's just say. Yeah. Okay. Like we got we got a lot of story progression. Yes. In this part, which was quite nice. But like, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I'm really looking forward to the next part. Yes. But, and um, as always, check out the links. Check, check out, out the, the models. models helps us out a lot. Hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we post. Also, if you're interested, like you know, it does help us out a lot. Share this story with any friends that you think would like this. Anyone story? that's in- slightly interested in 40k maybe and share but yeah we're just gonna add it here guys hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time bye